Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome to a new Let's Play of Intelligence 314th Clash. This is from uh, the same people that did Menagerie Remastered, which I will put you the link to my Let's Play of that in the description below. I did that quite some time ago. Uh, these are independent uh, RPG Maker uh, games. I believe they're made by the Crazy Chimp Collective. There, the last one I played was actually pretty decent. Uh, this one's been sitting on my hard drive for a while. Uh, I was notified that it was out, uh, I want to say at least a month ago, ago, probably closer to two. Uh, my schedule's just been stupid busy. Uh, now, I don't know when this is going to go up. It may be Saturday, it may be Friday. A uh, simple fact of the matter is I just spent the last eight hours trying to record footage for Indie Game Friday, and um, this is not going to be Indie Game Friday, it's going to be a full Let's Play. But as I was spending all that time and failing to record game after game after game, I think we through like five games, I kept coming back to this one saying, well, maybe I should do an Indie Game Friday on uh, Intelligence 314th Clash. But um, I wanted to do a full Let's Play of it. Uh, so here we are. Uh, now, I will be completing other Let's Plays as time goes on, and this one may take a while because I have no idea how long this game is. Without too much further ado, let's begin. Okay, yeah, that crazy, uh, crazy Chimp Collector. Classic art from them. So, uh... Their intro graphics are always nice. Presuming this is the top of a, uh, of a high rise or something. All right. Earth 2102. Snore, la 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 la. Okay, I have no idea how that, what that is. The fuck? Wakey, wakey, Pip. Am I gonna? Am I? Am I, I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and read every single one of these. I'm not gonna do voices. I never do voices. Tell me, Rolly. How am I supposed to stay sane if you don't let me get enough sleep? Damn, hitting a dog. But today is our big day, Peppy. I prepared a bunch. Aw, oh, that's nice of you. So... Tell me downstairs! Alright, well, there's certainly a motive. Alright, you win, Lummox. Showtime! What? Did he literally just jump out the window? Okay, here we got more credits. Does he just keep falling? I presume he hits at some point. Ow. Have a nice fall, Peppy? <laughs> All right, I'll give you that one. So this is the day then, huh? A year has passed since we met, so it's this is our anniversary, isn't it? Yep, that's today. Do you have you have any plans? You bet your sweet bippy I do. See? Should be here. This map is very bad. Yeah, tell me about it. Your spelling's atrocious, Raleigh. But your cartography is actually really good. No, it's not. Uh oh, that's where we first met all those months ago, right? Sure is. We're gonna have a picnic. All right, sounds good. I'm just packing some stuff. We'll leave whenever you're ready, Peppy. Oh, I'm in control. Can I take the motorbike? Be fun to ride my cycle again. Don't be too reckless now. No promises. Slow down there, Chief. My mini's only got room for one me. I know, I'm just admiring the dent I made in your roof. Yeah, that's a whopper, all right. I can't actually go down the street. 
Yeah, it's got a very limited amount of space. Already locked it, sorry. I saw what am I supposed to do? Ready to go? Yeah, I can't do anything else. You ride the bike and I'll drive the mini. Sound cool? Like there's a, even any other way to do it. But yeah, that's the idea. This is going to be a great day. I gotta walk all the way around again. Yeah, let's do this. And... I guess this is showing me where to go. Wait, what? Why does it keep stopping? So wait, where am I supposed to go? Is this the right way? So he's literally just following me along. Can I go over here? Nope. Several kilometers west and south, an unassuming village with a very stupid name is home to a girl with a past of fame. I thought I could stand to be alone forever. No such luck, I suppose. Good. Holy shit, it's a nuclear bomb! I hope that da didn't land where I think it did. I wanted to get out of the house anyway. Time to investigate. Uh, won't be anything of use in there. In typical zany fashion. Yeah, if I remember right, uh, the uh, Menagerie game was kind of all over the place at the beginning as well. I mean, it was interesting, all in all. Does she have a samurai armor in her house? Alright, uh... So do I go into each place, or do I just head on out? Continuing onward. Be open soon. This is one of those games where all the options are blocked off until I go go where it needs me to go, right? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> oh well. So what's out here? I knew it! Mod Souls. What? Mod Soul. Your maker better pray he isn't free. There are things worse than eternal detention, you know. Look! Wishing Star! That's not the sort of wish I think you'd want, Raleigh. Don't worry, I got us. Alright. What? Mini game time. Dodge the incoming debris. Oh, one of these. Yeah, that's, um... Oh, god damn it. Yeah, this is about... One of the only things I hated about the, uh about the Menagerie game was these mini-games. I mean, they're neat in concept, but... I distinctly remember having a real hard time uh, navigating them. Uh, and just keep running around. They always went on a little bit too long, I thought. Although I must admit, the controls in this one are much more responsive than, than I'm used to in an RPG Maker game. An RPG Maker uh, mini game. Because the engine itself is not really. Oh, fuck. Not really suited for uh, arcade kind of stuff. I'm doing alright, I think. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it is going on awful long. Who keeps appearing on the side of the damn road? I dodged that. Okay. I got a disappeared at the end. We made it. Yeah. High five. Oh. Uh. So you got a picnic planned or what? Sure do. You know, I'm I'm quietly terrified of these things, actually. What the fuck are you doing?
Is he legit just trying to get branches? Okie okay, day, it's ready, Peppy. What do I do? What do I do? What's down here? West, uh, Malangani, South, Evans Head, Skykari. East, Casino. That was an inventive way to get firewood, so what a uh, fire? Got you covered, boss. That's real inventive, Raleigh, but how are we supposed to get home now? Uh, you're right. How, so, how are we going to light this? Watch and learn, my fickle friend. It's all in the radioactive truffle. truffle. <laughs> Holy shit! Is he Godzilla? I feel like I should be jealous, but I'm not. Raleigh takes a large breath and drains with his incredible mouth. Most of the water in the lake. He then releases the fluid, leaving his cheeks bur full to burst with the spoils of his feet. Editor, please! Editor, where are you? Anyway, yeah. Of course, this is too difficult to animate, so you're just being told about it instead. Alright, that makes sense. You're an animal, Wally. Nice work, whale dog. You really did you really did think this through, huh? What? Um, never mind. Let's eat. So we've got a uh, brain dead dog and cat version. Oh, these are the guys from uh from Menagerie. The trio are about to meet. They're all part of the predestined location now. Very good. Give word to our informant that they'll need to stay alive for the time planned. You got it. Say, 12, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Alright, so, If fiction or reality is separated by the illusion of fiction, if they were all to come into one space, what do you think would happen? I confess, I don't truly know, but it's too pr too promising not to pursue. All right. So of the three, shall I go meet them? Go to meet them now? No, not until six months from when they meet. I know you're eager, but trust me, we've got to play it cool here. You've earned a rest. You've done well in saving the old ones from their glum fate. I suppose now the sixteen of us can take credit for saving two instances of our estranged kin. It was a lot easier than I thought, with our technology at least. They were still using petroleum. That doesn't surprise me at all, actually. But it's interesting to observe the Earth with no humans around, even if this instance of Earth is very different to our own. It's even more of an experience being there. Someday soon, I hope we can all mingle regardless of instances, but all in good time. Rest well, mate. Oh, I will. Be great to have fun with my Rubik's Cube again. Ah, <laughs> you're such a gut. Yep, my stomach is bottomless. Oh. Uh, your head is bottomless. You jelly? Sure, why not? Okay. Just two people kicking back in the woods. There's plenty for everyone. Who wants the scales? Hey, hey, don't invite people over. This is our shindig. You're right, Peppy. Tag, you're it. Oh, god damn it. Better write a will, whale dog. Gotcha. Oh, this is creepy. Random blue fire. Hey, is that your wishing star? It's so pretty. That stupid thing almost killed us. Hey, you should make a wish, Raleigh. Huh? That's what a wishing star is about, right? You were the one who found it, so it goes to you. There's that rustling again. What are those things? Did you guys come to see the Wishing Star too? Oh, are they enemies? Get any closer with those grubby mitts of yours and face my Fuhrer. I think that's my fury, Pepper. Shut up. So when do I get when do I get choice? This is the other thing I didn't I didn't particularly like about the uh about the other game I played with them. The storyline's great, and the cutscenes are nice, but there were large stretches like this where there was very 
minimal interaction. And uh, that's a trait of the JRPG style that they're mimicking, which I appreciate. Uh, well, I appreciate the fact that it's a trait of the JRPG style. It's just one of the reasons I don't play many JRPGs. They are not nice. I could have told you that three minutes ago. All right, now we finally get to interact. What are you guys even? Some sort of cultists? The mod souls cannot speak, so they're just, they just sort of giggle at you. A sail. Let's see, what do I got? Bomb, bomb frenzy. Green esteem. Okay. I'm gonna try their special ab abilities. I don't remember last time, that was like the key to everything. I hope it doesn't screw me over this time. Ow! And they're doing a number on me. Sail. Uh, an ass load. Don't have it. Oh, wait, wait, no, that's not what I want to do. Okay, a sail. Destruction, we'll try the bomb frenzy again, we'll try the rollout on a different one this time. Well, we got two of them down. Ow, stop it! They're very persistent. Oh, so here we go uh, with a third person. She like a kangaroo or something? Nice entrance, Sheila. Tristy, if you'd be so kind. Okay, I'm Pep, and the green one here is Raleigh. Pleasure's all mine, kangaroo gal I don't know. She is a kangaroo. Well, looks like we'll either take these down together or die trying. Let's make it the former. A brawl I'd never pass up. Have at him, buckos. A bomb frenzy. Green esteem on the first one. And uh, Smite does damage to one foe. Yeah, we'll try that. So I take it all the uh, work I did before this is almost irrelevant, right? Smite. So let's, let's do this. He's got an AE, which is going to be useful, I guess. But, um, it kind of makes it pointless when there's only, like, two people left. How much do their normal attacks do? Not bad. Get good or get schooled, kid. Alright. So he gets some more, they all get some more fireworks. Or they all get some more skills. Oh, we got things from the thing and maybe the other thing, assuming there was another thing. Alright, so, skills and loot. You aren't new to this fighting for your live things, lives thing, are you? Nope, I was a freedom fighter in London, and Raleigh here is a champion brawler. Intriguing, so this is your first anniversary, huh? You don't seem, um, what? Oh, no, 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 we're just good friends. Hey, how do you know that if we just met? I admit I've been watching you a little. This is my ancestral home. I wasn't doing it to be creepy, I swear. Ha, <laughs> sure. Your friend here has an impressive talent. I've never seen so many fish caught in one action. You saw that, huh? Nice one, Raleigh. You're welcome. I don't mind. I'm a vegetarian. Uh, yeah, huh? Should have figured. Hey, Raleigh, she's gonna be as green as you. Careful, pal. You got competition. And we have goofy ears, too. I don't understand. I'll lighten up. He's just got a few screws loose. Glass houses, little man. Didn't your mother teach you anything? My mom's dead, you dolt. So, uh, why were you checking us out? It started off with that wishing star you followed here. We didn't follow it, it followed us. Me and Green Gut here met a year ago around this spot. Both of us were pretty worn and lacking energy back then. This time is quite different. Oh, then I suppose I owe you an explanation. Over three decades ago, a war erupted between the species of mammals. 
Some call it the Great War, but formally it was referred to as the War of Indifference. However, a tragic war wasn't enough it seemed. A powerful being named Ma was delivered on a wishing star similar to the one that landed here. Me and some others formed a revolution against Ma. We found he was indestructible, but not uncontainable. And as the Great War kept going and its fighters grew weary, I made a move. I pledged that they discard their old hatred. I pleaded that they discard their old hatreds and stand united against Ma, seeing an ex any excuse as a good one to go missing in action. Only a handful of soldiers remained fighting the old war. They didn't last long, but their continued feuding ultimately was the distraction we needed to seal him away. Those creatures we just fought were Maud souls, the remnants of his frozen legacy. It is my responsibility to check up on these collisions. If one of the impacts makes a breach in his prison, which some have been close to doing, it could mean complete disaster. You'll be pleased to know Ma is still contained. I've checked on my way here. Wow, so you're the trustworthy her worthy heroine, right? Um, it's certainly a name I have been called, but how did you... You're the lead character in one of my favorite comic books. Right, I forgot fame was a thing I received through all of that. That's a cool boomerang. Hey, yeah, where do you even buy things like that? I don't think you can buy things like this. I made it. So cool. So hey, sorry if this is out of the blue, but you want to be friends? I could use someone with a brain. And some sense. <laughs> I still have that car lying around here, you know? Well, if you can put up with my goofy ears, then, um... Aw, oh, I didn't mean it. Not in that way. We just both have flappy round ears, see? Oh! Well, I could use a good friend. I'd sure love to have a brain around here, too. If you say so, mister, I will punch you. Don't know what else to tell you, Tristy. She's shy, Peppy. And how would you know that? Pals? Lonely, frail, and insecure one? Well, alright. Pals it is. Nice work, Raleigh. Thanks, Peppy. And from that moment, we were inseparable, undivided, and super best friends. And another cutscene. So I guess that's basically the tutorial work out of the way. Ah, the title screen! Intelligence, 314th Clash. Minds over Matter. I guess that's like the the version of it, because I think this game has been released before in the, in the past, and this is just basically the redone version. Earth, 2032. The humans leave, fleeing a nemesis they could not defeat. Autopilot, yes or no? Um, yeah, I, I can't... I can't even. It's not letting me do anything. And so the humans just take off? So it's got a voiceover for this part. Those are very suggestive uh, spaceships. The humans arrived to the barren remains of their new home planet, where only five centuries ago, life was a muck on the surface. Now, though, not but a dust bowl, set in that state by events preceding known history. Isn't it a magnificent view? I wonder why we decided to settle on Hope when there are at least two planets out there less barren than ours. The world you are eyeing will not be sufficient to sustain humans. One is a data structure held together by its rings. The other is a planet so alien it would be pointless to us. The natives of that pink planet are also formidable with magic. It'd be a wasted effort. Hope will gain life with time, as will the splinters of humanity regain their hope. Your aid has been invaluable to us, Messenger. I thought the Mayan calendar was just another doomsday device that would bear no fruit, that people were overestimating its significance. Yet now I see our ignorance cost us, almost five billion dead with thanks to that monstrosity. I'm just glad it has not followed us. The Frost Lord's primary designation is destruction. It'll settle for whatever it can find. 
Will you be going back to check up on it, our old planet? I will, but not until the time is right. I'm sure you're in no hurry to find out the mess our people's damnation has made, are you? Hmm, you're right. We have to leave the past behind, I confess. I feel Ma was only a learning device. Had we been left untouched, I can't say we'd have lived as long as we have. There's not many who could faithfully forecast that. And if there are, I'm not among them. One thing humans can be counted on is their resilience. No war you've had yet you've no war you had yet faced, no threat you had yet encountered had anything near the potency of Maw. Yet still here you stand, cast down to a sixth, cut down to a sixth, but still here you all stand. Humans are pretty great. I'd like to know your name, messenger. It's, it's so impolite of me calling you by a title all the time. Well, if we start playing puzzle games, then I'll consider it, General. Do you like dots and squares? It was my understanding that dots and squares was universally good game and no one could hate it. Am I wrong? I have no idea what that is. I don't know, but once, I've given a, once I'm given a break, I'll be happy to play dots and squares, even if I'm not very good at it. I'll do my best to make it enjoyable for you. Humans. Nearly wiped out, yet one kangaroo was able to do what they thought impossible. How? I must know. I must speak with the last kangaroo. 2102, 14th of September. So this is like back and forth through time here. I'm daydreaming a lot today. It was probably those radioactive truffles I ate. Hey, Raleigh, Raleigh, wake up, sleepyhead. Ouch, the train is on the run. Repeat, it's on the run. God, I'm mystified by your errant spastic readout sometimes. Now hurry up, we got schemes to snap into. You gave me such a fright, Pep. I tried to wake you politely, but you see, there's a small problem. You sleep like a log, one of the big-ass impassable kind that you'll see later in this game. Was that foreshadowing? No, that's rhetoric. Now get over here, I don't want to have to order this dumb elevator twice. Okie dokie, just let me get, up on, get my balance. Oh, now I'm playing the dog. Yum yum yum. Why wash dishes when you can eat out of the disposal carton? He's not joking. He literally doesn't keep dishes of any regard. Eats shit out of the carton like it's a, like a fucking animal. I am an animal. The point is that you're offending my face. Must make more foods. Oh sure, go cook yourself a deep fried heart failure for all I care. Just don't whatever you fucking do. Construct additional pylons. Good idea. Yum, cheddar. Leftover donut. It's my pies and muffins and stuff. Despite our differences, I think I can applaud your sense of taste more than our kibble-keeping kangaroo. Have you discovered her secret stash of incredibly inedible green things yet? Doesn't that describe everything she eats? Ouch. Ellipses! Good God, who have we befriended? All kinds of delicious beverages. Alright, so I think that I'm about ready. And once again, this is more about, you know, the uh, the journey, so to speak. I'm hoping that... Uh, the last game I played from this group did have long sections like this with minimal interaction, but did have a lot of places where a lot, with a lot of interaction as well. I understand this particular game is streamlined a little bit so that it focuses more on the story. Uh, so we will see more of it in the next episode. I'm going to wrap this up here. For now, this has been the RPG Crawler with Intelligence 314th Clash. If you like what you've seen, remember to like, comment if you've got feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content. Until next time, take care and goodbye.